Hey, what's going on my friends? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and today I'm gonna to share with you why I quit smoking weed after many years. And this was influenced by a spiritual awakening experience that I had quite a while ago. Okay, so first off, let me just share with you because I know this might already piss off a lot of people who are a fan of, a fan of cannabis, which I want to say, listen, I'm the biggest fan. I used to grow medical marijuana. That was my career. I love it. Not only did I like growing it, I liked smoking it. It actually helped me a lot. Even after my spiritual awakening, I didn't quit right off, right off the bat. After I had an awakening, I had a lot of physical sort of complications that smoking weed helped with a lot. I liked how it would sort of expand my consciousness and give me insights into my life, reduce my sort of physical symptoms, and I felt a lot better a lot of the time when I was smoking weed, okay? Now with that said, there did come a point where I knew it was time for me to say goodbye. And I'm not saying you need to say goodbye. I wanna share with you my experience and why I finally did choose to say goodbye pretty much forever to smoking marijuana. Number one is my own intuition was sort of alluding to the notion that maybe it is time to let this go, Victor. My own instincts. I just had a knowing that it was time. And I was sort of clinging on to it because it, for one, it was a habit. Two, I could easily sort of justify in my mind why it's not that big of a deal. I can say, you know what, I still, I'm a great father, I'm a great husband, I still, I still, you know, earn a living and I pay the bills, I keep my lawn, I cut my grass, not to piss off the neighbors. I do all these things pretty easily and smoking weed isn't really gonna affect that all that much. But I just had this knowing that, you know what, Vic, I could probably feel better, I could probably soar a bit higher if I was to finally at least see what it would be like to become free of this. So I had this sort of intuition dancing around that I was playing with for a while, sort of bouncing all along again against my own objections of my mind and reasons why I didn't, I wasn't, didn't really want to let it go. Um, but finally something kind of trippy happened to me that, that caused me to really then listen to my intuition. I was, uh, at this time, I was actually still growing medical marijuana, and I was also getting the intuition to stop doing that, just to kind of finally say goodbye to marijuana once and for all. I kind of knew, I had a feeling it was, I was like gonna move on from it, even though I didn't want to, and didn't really make a lot of sense. There was one time I was like walking, I forgot where, I was walking through my house, and I was listening to music, I was jamming out to Pandora radio, and this song from Stain, the Stain is a rock band, was on and it was a live version, some, a recording of one of their concerts. And in the middle of the, one of their songs, I forgot which song it was, he, he, the, the lead singer, um, I can't think of his name, Aaron Lewis, he stopped to address the crowd in the song. I'm, I'm walking through my house, I'm jamming to Pandora, I'm hearing this live version of one of the Stain songs and all of a sudden I hear, amidst these lyrics, which I'm, I, I know by heart, I hear him say, quit smoking weed. What? I swear to God, I thought I thought it was like a ghost or something popping out of the wall saying, Victor, quit smoking me. It was the it was the song, obviously, but it was the way I felt when that set when when I heard that, it was almost like my higher self coming through and saying, Victor, you know it's time to stop, so freaking stop. And at that point, I knew my intuition was telling me. I didn't, I didn't quit smoking weed because I read a blog article about how it's bad for ascension or it's this or that. It, was, it came from within, a knowing from within myself. Number two, and this is something that actually didn't cause me to quit, but it's something that's relevant for a lot of the people who watch my channel who are going through a spiritual awakening, a very massive shift in consciousness right now, is this. About 10 or 11, quite a few years ago, 10 to 12 years ago, I had what's called a Kundalini awakening. I'm not gonna get too deeply into what that is, but essentially, it's like the unleashing of a lot of spiritual energy that we all possess at the base of our spine. I had an experience that sort of triggered this energetic realignment within my body that made me extremely op cracked open and aware of all my different chakras and the energy bodies and my auras, etc. And anyways, after this would happen, when I would smoke weed, I could, I could tell very clearly that marijuana, for whatever reason, 
actually clogged and sort of clogged up my chakras. It would put energy and sort of force energy to them, but really it created a lot of disharmony in my, in my energy body while I was going through this energetic aspect of the spiritual awakening process. Some of you might not know what the hell I just said. A lot of you probably do if you already watch my channel. But I could just sort of, I could feel literally, physically, viscerally that the, it, it constricted my natural flow of my chi energy. And as much as I love smoking weed, I knew at that time especially that it was actually not helping me, but it was actually causing me to feel more imbalanced. So the way it went down for me is after I had that little message from my higher self through the voice of Aaron Lewis on Pandora Radio, um, I didn't actually quit smoking weed. I did stop growing weed at that time and listen to that, but I would still smoke it not often though. Up until that point, I was smoking all, all the time, you know, at least once a day. Um, but after that, I sort of ceased quite a bit where I would only do it once in a while. And then I thought I had found my balance. And then something happened, another obvious sign from the universe that was more bold that really finally caused me to stop smoking. It was a weird experience. I'm going to share it with you. Maybe you can relate, maybe not. I don't know. I was at an actual rock concert here in Las Vegas and uh, it was in the middle of summer. If any of you know how hot it gets in Vegas, it gets freaking hot in the summer, maybe 109, 10 degrees early in the evening. And me and my wife smoked a little weed. We went to this concert and it was like, we weren't really happy with the bands. It was outside. We didn't know it was gonna be outside. We were outside just sweating, nasty. And it just like being high in that environment made the experience because the set and setting the stage was already sort of not my what I wanted. It was just a really miserable, miserable, dank, experience and we eventually left the concert about halfway through because we were just so hot and so like whoa it's freaking parched and cotton mouth up the wazoo it was horrible and then it only had a little bit well then I went home and I woke up the next day with this horrible sinus infection that lasted for weeks and it was weird because as I was going to bed that night in fact the whole time when I was experiencing marijuana for one of the last times ever so um, so far anyway um, it, I had almost like a feel, like a, almost like a communion with the, the, mar the marijuana spirit. I had a sense that the, it was telling me that it's time to part ways. And there was almost like a death energy, like a feeling of dot, like a feeling of really letting go of an old friend. And I realized that's what it was. Marijuana was a good friend to me. It had many, many different things to teach me and to offer me, but it was showing me that, listen, Victor, Nothing is meant to be forever and your relationship with cannabis is one of those things and we're creating this experience for you with the synchronicity and the, the misery, um, the, the eventual cough and, and sinus infection as a way of sort of saying it's time, it's time to, to let, let me go. And it was just this weird intuitive communication I had with the spirit of marijuana where I just sort of knew that it served me well and I had a feeling of gratitude. I had a feeling of like, you know what? Thank you, man. You, you, you or it's a female spirit, I believe. Thank you so much, sweetheart. You helped me out. You, you've, you've opened my mind. You caused me to kind of uh, really question my, the authority, question reality growing up in high school. And you served me in so many ways, but you were a teacher and sometimes it's t it, there are times where it's good to move on to yet another life or earth teacher. And it was at that time in my life where I finally knew it was it. Was it. I was done. And then in the end, it, it really just came down to the simplicity. And hopefully this can help a lot of you if you're on the fence about, well, should I smoke weed, should I not? Is it good, is it bad, is it helping, is it inhibiting my spiritual progress, my life progress, etc. It really came down to this. Towards the end of my relationship with marijuana, I was, it was not making me feel better where in the past it would. It'd make me feel high, and make me feel good, it make me feel in the moment, present, uh, just happier. Um, towards the end, I was getting more paranoid, just feeling more foggy. I was getting like little bits of inspiration that never really completed themselves. And in the end, I just felt better letting it go. 
I felt actually more creative, more clear headed. I like when I go to sleep now at night, I have very clear, vivid, uh, metaphorical, you know, life lesson sort of dreams. And my skin looks a bit healthier. My lungs feel better. I do a lot of breath work now and yoga and like cardio where I wasn't doing cardio much at the time. And anyway, I just feel a lot more productive. I just feel better. Now, is that Victor saying that marijuana, smoke, quitting smoking weed will produce those, all those benefits to everybody? No, of course not. There was a time in my life where it did serve me. It was appropriate for me. It used to help me alleviate my symptoms. It used to help me with a million different things and I thank it. Okay. But I really just had to be honest with my own subjective experience with cannabis at that moment of my life. There's not an article or a video or any, anything out there, not your friend, your family, your coworker. No one should be telling you what's best for you, but you know what's best for you. And I'm not saying that to subtly insinuate you should quit. I'm, my goal of this video is to share my experience and hopefully empower you to just ask yourself. You know, it's not that, it's not that much of a puzzle. Okay. We always know, we always have a knowing and a sense of what's best for us. And as long as you act in accordance with that, your gravy, your spiritual growth is going forward. Whether you're the variety who's going to smoke weed or the variety who won't smoke weed. Some of you will probably smoke until the day you die and feel great and be extremely spiritual and wise and loving and caring. Other you maybe think it's bad and won't ever do it again. That's fine. It's not about that. It's about you and your own individual journey, straight up. That's the spiritual path is a very, very, very individual one. And things, especially like cannabis, ex react with people in a very subjective way, okay? So, anyways, I just wanted to share my piece with that, my friends. I'm like a spiritual YouTuber, and I get asked this question all the time for, from like dedicated stoners, like, man, I don't wanna give it up. And you don't have to, you just be honest with yourself. That's all it really comes down to. So I wanted to finally address this question in more of a formal way. So regardless, hopefully you got something out of it. I wish you all nothing but the best. Have an amazing day. Thank you for watching. God bless. Rock on. Namaste.